Let's talk about keeping faith, never quitting, the never quit. That's why I love NFL Draft Diamonds. Today we're going to talk about two prospects who never gave up their hopes, never gave up their dreams, and are getting a shot back at it again, next on Draft Diamonds. So I'm getting bombarded with emails, DMs, everything, people reaching out to me saying, Damon, what am I going to do? I'm not going to get my chance in the NFL. The drafts come and went. What am I supposed to do? Camps are filled. Dudes are getting opportunities. And I'm telling you right now, I feel your pain, but I'm telling you, it's not over. Some people have to take different paths and that's okay. Today, I want to talk about two kids that took totally opposite paths but are now getting an opportunity. Whether it be a camp invite, whether it be a, a workout, a signing, whatever it is, you have to take an opportunity and you have to take risks. It's not gonna be easy, something that you can just jump into, jump in and just say, all right, yeah, I'm gonna play in the NFL. It doesn't work like that. The minute you're now no longer a college athlete, you're considered a pro. Right now, college is over, your film's really irrelevant to this point. What it means now is you need to know what's the next steps. And that's what I want to help you with. Now is the next steps. What do I do now? Many camps are filled. I didn't get a call. I'm sitting at home. What do I do next? It's simple. You need to get film. You need to get in front of some scouts eyes, something. You have to do something right now to get in front of NFL teams eyes or film is basically the big thing is film. You have to make film. What we recommend to players is going out, making film. How do you make film? Go out and do your own combine in the backyard. Give it 120%. If you look at our YouTube channel, you'll see guys like Paul Butler, Nate Holly, guys that are in the spring leagues. You have guys like Carter Schultz, guys that are all around the league that are going out and doing these little workouts. And guys, they're getting opportunities. They're doing these workouts. They're running out, running routes. They're doing like different things. They're showing their film. They're just putting it, making it accessible to NFL teams. And they have an agent that's out there working for them. And these guys are getting shots. Dudes like Carter Schultz got two workouts with the Vikings he just had. And now he's going to Carolina. Paul Butler, Cal PA wide receiver, tight end. Kid was sitting at home for a whole year. He gets into the spring league, gets down there, boom, scores a touchdown, does good. He's an Oakland Raider. He just signed today. He sat out of football for a year, but he's kept working on his dream. He kept working on getting film, running routes, running spring league, getting an opportunity, taking risks, going and playing in leagues that no one's ever heard of to get film. You need film to get successful, to get an opportunity. Without film, you are nothing. Let me show you how this works. Let me bring you back down into reality. You have two different scouting departments in the NFL, a college scouting and a professional scouting. Pro scouts and college scouts. College scouts recruit college football players. You remember, the minute that you declare for the NFL draft, you're no longer a college football player. You are now a professional football player, meaning your agent, after the draft and everything's done, is no longer contacting college scouts that were looking at you. They now are looking at professional scouts. They have to push your name to the pro side. How do they push your name to the pro side? They have to show a relevant film right now, current film that you're doing. Going out there, getting workouts, running routes, catching passes, doing DB drills, D tackle drills, showing your get off. All these things have to be shown in new film because when a team brings you in, you're gonna be in front of their pro personnel who's gonna watch you to see if they like you or not. So remember, don't worry about what college things say. Your college film comes irrelevant now. It's gone. Now you have to start selling them on the player that you are right now in this current state. So you have to go out and make film. That's why these guys are getting shots. Guys like Christian Kunz, who just got signed. He was a long snapper, got signed. How about today, Nate Holly? Nate Holly was a guy who was the one of the best tacklers in the, in the damn draft last year. And he didn't get a shot because he had a case that came up on him. Some BS case. He ends up beating everything in court. Doesn't even get a shot in the NFL. Goes to the Spring League. 
gets in off of somebody else who got injured, gets back in, and now he's going to the Rams camp for minicamp. Listen, you have to make strides and you have to make positive impacts right now when your back's against the wall. You have to go out, AFL, Arena Football League workouts, Indoor Football League, your called Football, um, Spring League. I don't care what league you do. I don't care. A CFL workout and you have to pay 150 bucks. You need to get relevant film. You need to go out there, you need to work out, you need to run routes, you need to show that you're capable of doing it. You need film. With that being said, I just want to take the time and talk about Paul Butler and Nate Holly. You know, you guys are amazing. What an awesome story to go from both of you. Paul Butler, I mean, we talked, man. We talked every day. You were just trying to figure it out. Big shout out to your agent, too. Sammy working hard to get you that opportunity to go to Oakland for a workout. You knew about this. Dude, you didn't go in there. You killed it. And now look, you're an Oakland Raider. That's a beast mode stuff. I love that. I love hearing about this. Another one, Nate Holly. Bro, you sat out for a whole year. I'm so proud of you. You don't know how proud I am of you because you worked hard for this. And this opportunity finally comes and it's going to bless you. You're going to be blessed, man. Just keep your head up. Don't let it, the media define who you are, Nate. And I mean that when I say that. For everybody else out there that's dry, trying to live your dream, go out and do something, man. Make a film. If you're not in the lab working on your craft, you're quitting. Don't stop, man, don't stop. Teams are always looking for players. They're always looking to refine the roster, and they're looking to refine the bottom of the roster. You can't be afraid of special teams. You know, if you go back and you look, Every video guy that we've worked out, that have put video and put forth the effort, they've been getting opportunities. Guys like Tyson Graham signed to the Falcons. Guys like Justin Zimmer, who was signed to the Bills last year and was cut. The kid was a bench press freak from Ferris State. He goes out, boom, he's an Atlanta Falcon now. Guys that are putting in tape, like I said, Christian Cup. I mean, Carter Schultz got two workouts with NFL teams. We just did a wor recent workout video with him. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at our YouTube videos on workouts, free agent workouts. There's guys out there that are putting in the work. They're going out, they're catching passes. Don't give me no 104%. You gotta come out 110%. You gotta run your routes, you gotta catch every ball, you gotta look sharp, you gotta look the part. And if you do this, you'll get an opportunity down the road, whether it be in the CFL, the AFL, the IFL, whatever FL, you're gonna get a shot. The your, your Call Football is another one, Eric Gelko. They're running an awesome championship league down there where you can, where the people get to pick the plays. It's great, man. This is an opportunity for you. Don't pass it up. You got the AAL or whatever I think it's called, the Alliance Football League coming up. That's another league. You got the XFL coming up. You're gonna have a lot of outlets that you can get into these. Stay ready, be ready, get your film right. But no team's gonna take you sitting on the couch complaining about you were all American in college. All that becomes irrelevant. Cause pretty soon a whole lot of people are gonna be sitting on the couch. A lot of people. When these roster cards, they start hitting, people are gonna be falling off left and right. Get your stuff together, get ready, and get out there. And get out there and make videos of you doing combine work. Who cares you didn't get a combine invite? Who cares you didn't get a bowl game invite? Who cares you didn't have put up stats? I don't care what you did. Get out there, make a video, do your best, and man, let's get you back on the gridiron. Draft Diamonds. Go follow us, man. Draft Diamonds on Twitter. Oh, and by the way, for all you guys sitting there upset because I'm talking about God, get used to it. That's why I do what I do. I'm a believer in Jesus Christ. He is the only reason that I'm able to do anything that I'm able to do. And I'm thankful to be walking today because of him. So with that being said, keep on the good fight. Power to the people. Yeah, power to the believers. I love you. Jesus is real. Let's check it out like that. Make sure you click the links below and follow us, man. Take care. God bless. Paul, Nate, boom. You did it. Team Diamond, baby. God bless you. Take care.